Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to another Daily Dose of Hope here at Living Word in Galena. And uh, I'm Pastor Derek, and I wanted to bring you just another quick message of hope uh, from God's Word. I've got uh, Psalm 74 open today. And as we look at Psalm 74, the, the heading of this psalm says, Arise, O God, defend your cause. Now, that's a pretty powerful thought. Um, and it actually comes right out of the end of this psalm. Psalm 74, 22 says, Arise, O God, defend your cause. Remember how the foolish scoff at you all the day. It, it, it ends with an exclamation mark. It ends with that exclamation of, look, God, we want you to rise up. We want you to be the one who handles our problems. And that's where we are today in, in our day-to-day -day lives, no matter what's happening, whether it's uh, in light of all the events of our world as of the last few months, or just in our regular everyday lives, going to work and coming home and managing our finances and, and trying to navigate the decisions and challenges of day-to-day -day life. Arise, O God, defend your cause. God doesn't need any defense. We don't need to rise up and defend God. We don't need to give a defense for who God is. We just need to be able to communicate clearly and effectively what we believe and why we believe it. God needs no defense. God is his own defense. And so arise, O God, defend your cause. God has given us the cause of loving him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and he's given us the cause of loving our neighbor as ourselves. If all we can do is point out our flaws and each other's flaws, then perhaps we've forgotten God's cause and it's time for him to rise up and defend his cause again. If all we can do is see the differences and the opinions of one another instead of the thing we share in common, and that is our unity in Christ, then perhaps we need God to defend his cause yet again. Our world is not going to get any easier. The Bible is very clear throughout its pages, uh, as, as Matthew shares it in his gospel account, as the book of Revelation shares the, the end times scenarios with which we will walk through. It's not going to get any better. It's not going to get a whole lot easier. We're going to have lighter moments and heavier moments. We're going to have happier moments and sad moments. We're going to have moments when, when we all just kind of get along and moments when we're just at each other's throats. But it's not about us. It's about God. Defend your cause, O oh God. And so today, today our prayer is that God would rise up. Today is that God would arise and defend his cause. Help us to lower ourselves and humble ourselves in the sight of God, who is bigger and mightier and more capable than we ever could. Arise, O oh God, defend your cause. That's my prayer today, and I hope that's your prayer as well. Friends, God is big enough to defend his cause. And so we just stand and stand firm upon his word and trust in his power and his presence. Arise, O oh God, defend your cause. That's all I've got for today's Daily Dose of Hope. We'll be back again tomorrow and every weekday uh, as we journey through God's word, uh, starting here in the book of Psalms. Have a great day and be well, my friends.